Well, we thought the eight passenger situation couldn't get any worse. A former client of Ruby Frankie and Jordi Hildebrand has come forward and exposed their evil practices. And no, that is not a joke. There is some seriously sinister things going on here. And I promised you guys in the last video that if anything serious did happen, I would let you know. And a lot of stuff has happened, which is why I'm here today. We also have one of Ruby Frankie's former friends coming forward. And he said that he blames Ruby Frankie for the breakup in his marriage. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, because Jordi Hildebrand's niece has come forward and she has explained to everybody what it was like to be Jordi's niece. And let me just tell you this. You'll be shocked to hear what she has to say. Now, later on, we will take a look at the video of Jordi's niece coming forward. But firstly, let's just read this together. I hope that Jordi is not sidelined, said Jesse. When seeing Ruby Frankie receive a majority of the coverage on the case, I mean, she is so connected to this happening. And yes, Ruby needs to be held accountable because she made those choices. She's just as guilty, but Jordi's been doing this for much longer. This is going to get deep. With that said, let the ask to recommence. Also hearing from another former client who says this is just the beginning. He believes a lot more former clients will come forward with their stories of both shame and isolation. Yeah, Paul Nelson tells us more about this part of the story, Paul. Well, I am also right outside the Division of uh, Professional Licensing. We'll explain why in just a little bit. However, the former client that we spoke with, his name is Trey Warner, and he says that Jody Hildebrandt was really good at using shaming tactics to pit husband and wives against each other. And he also says that uh, she was very good at convincing people that they were dangerous for other people to be around. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on now. Jody Hildebrandt is trying to convince people that they are dangerous to be around? <laughs> you are the freak, my friend. You are the danger! It's you! You are the freak in this, Jordi Hildebrandt. Now keep in mind now, Connections, once again, was like a group therapy. It was like to improve people and to help them grow as people, help parents, marriages, that kind of thing. And the, 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 the... <laughs> Wait, I can't... What's going on? And the person in charge of that, who is supposed to be helping people, would use tactics to turn husband and wife against each other using shame. What the fuck's going on? Let me tell you something, right? The lowest vibration within a human being is shame. We all have vibrational frequencies. Our chakras, getting spiritual here a second, hold on. We have the crown chakra, which is Christ consciousness, which is enlightenment. And the lowest form of chakra is our root chakra, where our animalistic instincts are. Animalistic equals the beast equals the mark of the beast equals <clears throat> the bad guy. Now, I'm not saying, right, that Jody Hildebrandt is some sort of, you know, bad man worshipper. I don't like saying his name because I'm a Christian and no thank you, not in this house. <laughs> but to turn marriages against each other using shame tactics, shame is the lowest form of vibration. It's where you're the most vulnerable to the bad man. So, I'm a bit, I'm a really a bit worried here, okay? I'm not saying it's true, it's just my opinion. And I did skim through this video and it gets a lot more intense than this. <laughs> Please don't track me down, Jordi Hildebrandt. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I just remembered. You can't track me down because of today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. <laughs> Atlas VPN came to the rescue and I was set up and fully protected within minutes. Atlas VPN has now more than 6 million users worldwide and can make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. Oh, but VPN services are usually around $40. I, I don't have that much money. Whoa, now we're talking about Atlas VPN here. They've got the best deals on the market. Atlas VPN is now available for $1.83 a month, plus three extra months and a 30-day money-back guarantee. And if you want to be a part of the community, then click the link in the description. We've all faced the problem of not being able to watch our favorite shows due to the region we live in. Well, guess what? Switch that bad boy on and boom! We're now in the UK and able to watch our favorite shows on the go. Perhaps you are watching some sexy videos on the internet and don't want your goldfish to find out. Switch it on. Boom! Atlas VPN allows you to search the web without anybody tracking your activity. Atlas VPN has many more amazing features, and if you want to be a part of the big family, click the link in the description and get Atlas VPN now for only $1.83 a month and an extra three months with 30 day money back guarantee, baby! Get in! But be quick because this is a limited time offer. With that said, I want to say thank you for Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video, and let's show them and demonstrate the power of the Curtis Price channel by heading to the link in the description and signing up today. A little quick word from our sponsor there, now let's check out the rest of the video. He joined a support group at the recommendation of a friend trying to improve his marriage, but after a while, he says he grew more suspicious of what Jody Hildebrandt was teaching. It started to feel more and more evil. 
And I finally, in one of the group meetings, I got up and I just said, this is off. Warner claims Hildebrandt would use shaming tactics to turn husbands and wives against each other, adding that she would convince men that their impure thoughts made them dangerous to their family. Convincing men that their impure thoughts is dangerous to their families. Yo, this is just the start, guys, right? This is just the start. But first of all, what an absolute freak! Why are, you, why are you, like, getting into people's heads for? Like, just with your claws and your evilness. This feels like a very sinister video. There was a man that had a successful business that believed that he was a danger to his wife and his family because he did a double take. As a woman, like, if he saw a beautiful woman, he, he would see and he'd look again. This guy got his own apartment and separated from his family because he was a danger. In some cases, Warner claims husbands were separated from their families for so long, they were considering suicide. They felt so sick and like such a failure that they just felt like they shouldn't be here anymore. Okay, maybe if you're married, maybe you shouldn't exactly do that, but... Let's be honest here. You haven't actually done anything. You've just looked, all right? That's the first thing. You just looked. You take a look back and you've looked again. You're not insane because of that. Like, this is, this is what narrative she's putting on people. Like, she's telling people, you know, you're insane. You're a danger to your family. You shouldn't be with them. You should move out and, and separate yourself from them because you, my friend, are a danger. You freak. Get away from me, honestly. This, this is sick. Makes me feel sick. I don't like this. This was a successful dude with his head on his shoulders. And Jordy Hildebrandt broke him down to the point where he moved away from his family and even had suicidal thoughts. Yeah, I thought this was supposed to be a self-improvement group. <laughs> what man broke your heart, Jordy? Because so far, from what I've seen, it seems like you're trying to make men think they're insane. So what man hurt you. Now here's the thing, right? That was about Jordi Hildebrandt, and I feel like a lot of the fury going on right now is towards Ruby Frankie and her family and what she done to her children. But I think we're missing something here. What if Ruby Frankie isn't the mastermind beh behind all this? What if it wasn't her idea to do these things? Hear me out. Let's look at this next video. Steed is coming forward after saying, quote, Jody Hildebrandt destroyed his life. This is Adam Steed. Years ago, he was recently married, had a child, another on the way, and he was an international relations student and pre-med student at Brigham Young University. It was recommended he attend marriage counseling with his then wife. I was sent to uh, Jody Hildebrandt. Yeah. But me and my wife together, it was, it was, the bishop was saying it was for both of us as a couple. Now he's sharing his story, saying Jody Hildebrandt discussed personal details about him without his permission to LDS church leaders and Brigham Young University. Jody Hildebrandt is completely evil. Oh my days, man. This is absolutely insane. This guy was married with kids. He had his life sorted out. And somehow the moment he met Jody Hildebrandt, he lost everything. Are we sure this woman isn't like some sort of like demon or something? Because... It feels that way, man. It really does. And it's pretty, pretty scary. <laughs> Steed says since starting counseling with Hildebrandt, he was removed from BYU and his wife divorced him, among other things. He recalls this moment. I was sitting there with my baby who's hugging me and crying. She hasn't seen me. And next thing I know, I got served a protective order, and I'll never forget her screaming, yelling, Daddy, no, Daddy, no, just screaming as this lady I don't know pulled her out of my hands, and then they hand me this restraining order against me. My goodness. What the fuck is going on? So you're telling me, right, that Jodie Hildebrandt called up churches and stuff and discussed one of her client's, like, issues. Like, are you okay? Like, it's client confidentiality. You can't tell other people what is going on with your clients? Because Jordy did that, this married father managed to lose his wife, his kids was pulled away from him, and also he was kicked out of his university. There is some dark energy going on here, like I can let you feel it, like my chakras are getting blocked. <laughs> just to know that this woman exists makes me not be able to sleep tonight, like just knowing her existence is out there. I'll have to sleep with a, a meat cleaver by the side of my pillow. Now in a moment, we are gonna watch Ruby Frank's former friend come forward and explain how Ruby apparently destroyed his marriage. But before then, Jordi Hildebrandt's niece has come forward 
and I think you guys will be extremely surprised with what she had to say. So this is Jessie Hildebrandt, Geordie Hildebrandt's niece, and she's come forward to speak about her traumatic experiences while living with Geordie. Good evening, we spoke for about 20 minutes or so about Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt. Jessie Hildebrandt lived with Jody and received therapy with air quotes as she described it to me today. Jessie described abuse while living with Jody back in 2009 or so. She went into detail telling me she was tied up, duct taped, blindfolded, experienced severe isolation, severe emotional, spiritual and psychological abuse, among other things, such as being forced to sleep outside in the snow. Evil. Evilness going on. Terrible evil. You're telling me that Jordi Hildebrandt in 2009 was tying up her niece with duct tape, blindfolding her, giving her emotional abuse and Oh my goodness, I need to think, yo, this is actually fucking sickening. Man. So this is where it kind of comes full circle. Ruby Frankie's kids being tied up. Maybe it wasn't Ruby Frankie's idea. Maybe Geordie Hildebrand said, yes, Ruby, this would be a good idea for their emotional growth. What the fuck are you saying, you fucking freak? And Geordie also made her niece sleep outside in the snow. How is this exactly supposed to help any- How does that help you become a better person? You need- You need to become a better person! You need therapy! Oh my days, man! It's been a really interesting experience watching everyone focus on Ruby, and I understand why. But this is Jody. These are Jody's words. These are Jody's ideas. These have, are over decades old, so... Is that why you've called Jody the mastermind behind all of this? Yes, um, that doesn't excuse Ruby's involvement and her perpetuating these these beliefs and these systems, but Ruby didn't come up with this. Um, Ruby um, obviously supports it and um, has used these on her children, um, but this is coming from Jody. These two worship evil. That's it. That's the answer. They worship evil. They're both evil people. Ruby supports it and Geordie's the mastermind. It's Geordie's idea to do these things. These two people are evil, I tell you. Okay? Stay away from these people. Stay away from this situation. Don't come anywhere near it. I'm honestly starting to feel like as if things are coming in this room now. It's a joke, obviously. Nothing's here. I'm fully protected. But... I'm just saying, guys, this is insanity. Perhaps Jordi Hildebrand tied up her children and Ruby was like, yeah, Jordi, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they definitely don't worship the same god as me, that's for sure. Comment down below, everybody, what you think of this. Do you think that, you know, Jordi Hildebrand is the mastermind behind all this? Because we've been speaking about Ruby Frankie for a while now. Everyone's speaking about Ruby Frankie. I feel like no one's spoken about Jordi Hildebrand. I feel like she. Honestly, sounds worse. If, if anything, she sounds worse. Anyway, now that we've seen this absolute fuckery of a situation. How about now we take a look at a YouTube vlogger, Carl Anderson, talk about his experience of being friends with Ruby Frankie and the Eight Passengers family. The end of my marriage uh, all began when our family started associating with Ruby's siblings and when all of this uh, behind the scenes stuff went on, it really compromised my marriage and the, the same pattern that you see playing out in some of these other families happened to me and I'm not the only one that knew this family and met them and then ended up divorced about a year later under a similar pattern. See, does does anyone see what I'm seeing here? Like, any person that comes across this family and gets close with them ends up, like, having their lives destroyed. Like, it just feels like there's, like, this dark entity, a dark energy around them that once you come into their life, going back out won't be the same. You won't be the same person. And Carl even confirmed that he's not the only one that this has happened to, which means other families who have been friends with eight passengers have also divorced with similar patterns, like their family have broken down after meeting Ruby Frankie and her family. You know, I don't know if she sold her soul to like the enemy, but whatever's going on here is pretty evil. And these guys all seem like some sort of freak show to be honest. So let me know guys in the comment section what you think about this whole situation. Is Jordi the mastermind? I really want to know your guys' thoughts because I, I need to unload. I need someone else to like help me with the conversation here. I need the conversation, okay? I, I need a therapy time. Like, let's have a therapy time in the comment section. Let's just, let's just therapize with each other, okay? With that said, I'm gonna leave you the quote from the Bible today, Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. 
Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Thank you very much, everybody. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.